Hi there everybody, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. For this video, I wanted to share with you guys how I did this box for purse DIY. So if you guys are interested, please continue watching. Alright guys, so before we start, I wanted to let you guys know that I chose this type of fabric material because the one side is kind of smooth and uh, waterproof type of thing and the other side can stick to the fur fabric. So I'm going to be using this for the inside of the purse just so it will be easier to clean up the inside of the purse later on as I use it. So what I'm going to start doing is laying this fabric down and then I'm going to put the fox fur on top of it just so I can go ahead and make marks to line it up so I know where to cut exactly. This fox fur is a leftover from the last DIY that I did of a poof seat. So if you guys are interested, I'm gonna link it down below. And also you can click here to watch it if you're interested. All right, so with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and cut out the white fabric. Alright guys, so just so you guys can see, this is what the white fabric looks like to the fur fabric in comparison. So I'm going to lay it down with the other surface that's not smooth facing the back of the fur fabric. And then I'm going to go ahead and use the E6000 glue to glue both fabrics together. As I'm gluing them, however, I'm making sure I leave about an inch from around the edge. And the reason is because I'll be folding the two sides to make the purse a little bit more stronger and by doing this it kind of gives the purse a little bit of strength because I'll be gluing it at two different spots in the same area. So once I do that I'm going to fold the two sides like I said earlier and then I'm going to press on them so the glue can attach together and I'm making sure it's lined up as I'm doing so. However when I was trying to attach the fur fabric just by using the E6000 it wasn't working as good. So I used a hot glue to glue the corners and also the sides that's going to flip over. Alright, so for this next part, I wasn't planning to do at the beginning, but I thought it was a nice addition. So what I'm doing is I'm using magnets that I got from the dollar store a while back. And I'm inserting the bigger magnet in between the two fabrics in the front. And I'm making sure it's aligned and in the center as much as possible before I go ahead and glue it from the inside. And then I go ahead and attach a smaller magnet in the front. Next, before I add any accessory details to this clutch, I am going around and attaching all the areas that are not attached yet, like the corners that I asked you guys to leave in the beginning. Once everything is glued up and in place, I'm going to go ahead and add these studs in a triangular shape a few inches apart from each other. About an inch I would say actually. And uh, I didn't buy this, it's actually from an old hat that I, uh, I am repurposing it basically. This is how the whole DIY turned out. I hope you guys like this DIY and uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment area below. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this.